Hello, Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Powell with the Mississippi National Guard COVID-19 Task Force. Today's lesson will discuss the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. The topics will include storage and handling, dose preparation, dosage and scheduling, administration, contraindication, and finally, adverse reactions. Let's begin. Storage and handling. The Moderna comes in a multi-dose vial, usually in cartons. They arrive at the sites in a frozen status. Remember, that frozen status is as cold as negative 25 to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Please do not apply or store dry ice on the cartons while attempting to keep frozen. The minimum temperature or the lowest temperature can only be negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Vials are stored in refrigerated materials and those temperatures are 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit and they may be stored up to 30 days in this condition. Unpunctured vials also can be stored in 46 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 12 hours. Remember the doses do come in a frozen condition and once we thaw these conditions out and each vial is at room temperature, we cannot refreeze or reuse punctured vials. Let's discuss dose preparation. Remember, each dose comes and arrives at the site in a frozen status, so we must thaw it. We can thaw each vial or cartons of vials in the refrigerator for two hours and 30 minutes. Once this time has expired, then we can again thaw it out at room temperature for an additional 15 minutes. Remember, do not refreeze once we have thawed uh, these vials out. Once we've got a thought out, we need to mix the suspension to make sure that all the particular matter is uh, completely dissolved in the suspension. So how do we do that? We're going to use a swirling motion with each vial. Uh, please avoid trying to shake in an up or down method. We always want to use a swirling method. We're going to do this method uh, initially once we have the solution uh, thawed, but also this needs to occur between each dose or withdrawal of the dose out of each vial. Do not shake the vial. Secondly, inspect each vial or if you're on a site where you're receiving the vaccine that's already drawn up, always inspect each of the syringes. What you're looking for is any kind of discoloration or particulate matter. So we know that the solution should be an off to off white solution. Any brownish and or clear solution likely indicates that the solution is not dissolved correctly. If you see particulate matter, white particles floating, then this means that there is something wrong with the suspension and we should discard those suspicious looking vials that meet this characteristics. And then finally, you wanna discard the vial once it's been punctured after six hours of the initial withdrawal. So we only have about six hours from time of withdrawal from the first puncture of a vial until the last dose. Let's discuss administration of the vaccine itself. You recall we want to visually inspect either the vial or the syringe once we've withdrawn the dose. We're looking for any discoloration as we know the solution should be in an off-white solution or even opaque. We also also want to look for any type of particulate matter inside of the dose. If you see this and can't resolve it by swirling the solution around the vial, then simply discard it and we'll report that out to the Mississippi Department of Health. Next, we need to verify the dosing. Remember the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is administered in 0.5 milliliters or cc's doses. 
So each dose is gonna be 0.5 cc's in each syringe. There's approximately 10 doses in each vial. Also, right before we administer, we're gonna con confirm no particulates and there's no air bubbles inside of the syringe or the bulb. We're going to administer the vaccine in the deltoid of every patient. As you recall, anatomically, the acromion process is the bony prominence on the outside of the shoulder. What you're gonna do is to get three fingers, three finger breaths, and hold just below the acromion process. This is the injection site in the middle of the deltoid. Finally, the angle of the needle, needle as it is inserted to the skin is going to be a 90 degree angle directly into the tissue. And we're gonna demonstrate this IM injection on the site when you arrive. Let's discuss contraindications. Because this is a new vaccine, there aren't a lot of known, reported, or anecdotal stories of severe reactions to the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. However, since patients are now receiving their first dose, it is conceivable that we might see some severe reactions to the medications, including anaphylaxis. One of the contraindications is certainly a anaphylactic reaction from the first COVID uh, Moderna vaccine dose. So if that happens, it is certainly contraindications and patients uh, should not be considered as candidates to receive a second dose. Also, patients that have a history of severe anaphylaxis to any agent, including any other drugs and or food, then they need to be excluded. So this is a contraindication. During the survey, patients will be asked do they have a prescription for an epinephrine pen due to a past history of anaphylaxis. If this is the case, patients are discouraged from participating in the vaccine program for now and are considered a contraindication if they do have an EpiPen. If some patients arrive at the site with an EpiPen, we will defer them to their primary care provider for further guidance on receiving the vaccine. There is other anecdotal evidence suggesting that pregnant mothers should not receive the vaccine and or women who are still breastfeeding. In this case, we're gonna refer all of those to their OBGYNs for advice, and they can get the vaccine at the local clinic or a facility that can support an anaphylactic reactions or adverse reactions. Adverse reactions. Now that we're approaching in the millions of citizens who've received the vaccine across the nation, there is more anecdotal evidence and reporting of adverse reactions, which are mild to some of the vaccines. These include pain at the injection site, fatigue, headache, chills, erythema, even myalgia and fever. These are the most commonly reported symptoms and adverse reactions that typically resolve within 24 to 48 hours of receiving the vaccine. We suspect that as vaccines increase, more serious reactions may be observed and these will be reported at the sites that you're at. In concluding, let's discuss the dosing administration, adverse reactions, some of the contraindications, and the dosing itself. So we discussed that the vials come frozen. We can place them in the refrigerator up to 30 days, and we can also thaw them in temperatures lower than that, uh, but we don't want to put dry ice on any of the vials. And preparing the dosing, we certainly want to swirl each vial to ensure there's good suspension uh, across the vials that we use. If the vials are punctured, you have six hours to administer that or the dose should be discarded. The amount of the dose, which is given in the deltoid muscle is 0.5 cc's. 
the dosing schedule is on day one, the first dose, then we have 28 days from the time of the first dose to the second dose to give that second dose, again, of 0.5 cc's. There is some evidence that patients can receive the vaccine, the second dose, as late as four or five days after the 28th day. It is highly discouraged for patients to, to receive the vaccine prior to the 28 day mark. We also talked about epinephrine and patients that have EpiPens. Those are contraindications and those patients should not receive the vaccine on site if they have a history of anaphylactic reactions to foods, drugs, or specifically the Moderna 19 COVID vaccine. And finally, some of the common reactions that we're seeing with the Moderna vaccine include pain at the injection site, fatigue, headache, fever, chills, erythema, and some myalgias. These are common and they usually resolve within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you for watching today. We appreciate all you're doing specifically for volunteering and helping us do our part in the Mississippi National Guard to take care of our citizens and our general population during this historic pandemic. Thank you.